Boy, we're pretty excited about the Active TO Cycling Network. It's a pretty ambitious goal. It's the largest um, increase in on-road cycling facilities Toronto has ever done. Cycle facilities are really important, especially during COVID-19. Uh, biking is great for slightly longer trips. It makes it easier for people to get to work. It makes it easier for people to get uh, to destinations and shopping and uh, doing it all safely. So we want to make sure we're providing protected facilities for people to bike and uh, an Active TO has helped us to move that forward and I think it's um, been really well received and we're, we're really excited to get it implemented on the ground. The cycling lanes that we're putting in as part of Active TO's cycling network expansion are uh, two sorts. There's the permanent ones like the ones that are going to happen on Bloor West and then there's the temporary ones which we're going to see a lot of this summer. Um, those are existing using the existing street we're putting in paint we're putting in bollards in some cases we're putting in other kinds of barriers that you may have seen around the city uh, for other cycle facilities might be barrels but we're really trying to make them uh, safe and uh, and direct and connected and temporary so the active to cycling network supports vision zero uh, as well as our restart and recovery efforts uh, because we really want to make sure that people are able to get around the city safely uh, it's been a huge emphasis of um, the mayor, it's been a huge emphasis of city council. My staff has been working incredibly hard to make sure we're rolling out Vision Zero improvements all across the city. And the expansion of the cycling network through Active TO is a huge uh, benefit to that. And we really are we're going out to many, many neighborhoods in the city, giving people safe, connected cycling routes that not only help them physically distance and get around, but will be really important And uh, when, we, when we move into future phases of research start in recovery. Um, while some of the cycling facilities are temporary, we're going to be monitoring them quite closely to see uh, whether we want to modify them or make them permanent in the future. So I think everything that we're doing right now uh, supports Vision Zero and has a uh, real benefit for the restart of our economy here in Toronto.